Hello everyone, a very warm welcome. And so today we are going to share with you people a sample paper that would hopefully help you with the upcoming ex Olympiad exams. This is a paper of basically 50 questions divided into four sections. The fourth section is logical reasoning. Over here we have 50 questions, one marks each. So that makes a total of 15 marks for this section. And the topics over here are verbal and non-verbal reasoning. We have various subtopics like Venn diagrams, directions, ranking, and a lot more. Next, we have mathematical reasoning, which is 20 questions of one marks each, so 20 marks for this section. Next, we have everyday mathematics, 10, mark, 10 questions, one marks each again for 10, uh, 10 marks. And the last section is achievers section, which is just five questions, but the number of marks over here is comparatively different to the other three sections. So over here we have three marks question, making a total of 15 marks for this section. The topics or the syllabus, if we are concerned of, is same for the last three sections. Just the pattern of question or the difficulty level, we can say, is a step above in the last section, achievers section. So that's all about the pattern. Let's start off with our paper. The first question reads, Bipin is the son of Ashok, Ishu is the brother of Bipin, and Krishna is the wife of Ashok. So let's draw a diagrammatic representation describing the relationship between the people given. Firstly, Bipin is the son of Ashok. Since we, are have, we have to show over here gen, uh, generation change, we'll draw it as a step above and below. So Ashok is the father of Bipin. So Ashok is above, Bipin is over here. Next, Ishu is brother to Bipin. So obviously, again, Ashok is father to both Bipin and Ishu. Now, Krishna is the wife of Ashok. If Krishna is wife to Ashok, that means Krishna is their mother. So Bipin, Ashok, Krishna, their husband and wife, as well as their parents to two children, Bipin and Ishu. Okay. Moving on to our next statement, Bipin is married to Aarti. So Bipin has again his wife as Aarti. So how is Ishu related to Aarti? Aarti is no other than brother's wife. So Ishu is brother-in-law to Aarti. Hence option B is our answer. Moving on to our next question. This is a question from patterns or number sequence. If you observe, you have to select the incorrect number in the given pattern. One, then five, then nine. Okay. If we see the increase over here is four and four. Next, nine to 17 is an increase of eight. Again, 17 to 25 is also an increase of eight. So basically what we can see, this is uh, firstly, the difference is increasing as well as they're repeating two times plus four plus four plus eight plus eight. That means they're increasing in multiples of four. So next should be plus 12. So yeah, it's falling into the sequence. 25 plus 12 is 37. Next should be again plus 12 because it's increasing two times. 37 plus 4, uh, 12 is 50. It's 49. So 50 is not falling into the sequence. Hence, that's the incorrect one. Next, again, if we see the fourth multiple should be 16. So 49 plus 16, 65, again, falling into the order. So 50 is our answer since that's the odd one out. Next over here, we have, this was a question from mathematical operations where symbols are coded. And after having decoded these symbols, we need to perform the basic quad mass. So let's write the given question after. Uh, after decoding the symbols, 125 minus the subtraction symbol denotes plus. So 125 plus. After that, 6. Multiply. Multiplication denotes division. So division, then 3. Then plus is over here. Plus denotes multiply. So multiply 5. And lastly, division. Division denotes subtraction over here. So it's subtracted by 18. Now what we need to do is we need to simply Perform our Bodmas. So according to Bodmas, division should be done first. So it's 125 plus 6 divided by 3 is 2 multiplied to 5 minus 18. Next, we should perform multiplication. So 125 plus 10 minus 18. Next, we should 
perform addition. So it's 145 minus 18. If we subtract 145 minus 18, we would be getting 117. That's there in option D. So that's our answer. Moving on to the next question, which of the following will lie on the face opposite to the face having two positive symbols when the given figure is folded to form a cube? Okay. This is a question from cubes and die. So it's two figures. So in such cases, when you have an unfolded form of a cube, we should always pair up the alternative. So one would be paired up with three, four would be paired up with five. So our required one, two should be paired up with six. The alternatives are paired. So option E, six symbols is our answer. Next question in a certain code language, what is written as this? B I R. P H D A Y. Both is coded as X E N H T Z W U. Okay. If we observe over here, the first three and last three are changing, whereas the middle two are interchanging their places. So T is coming in H and H is coming in T's place. Okay. And how are the first and the last three alphabets changing? If we have to check over here, they are subtracting four alphabets. They are taking in reverse order, minus fourth they are taking. So before B comes A, Z, Y. So skipping three, they have taken the fourth one X. Similarly, before I, they have skipped three and taken the fourth one, that's E. Similarly, R minus skipping minus four they have done. Over here also the same thing, D, A, B, C, before it has been skipped, Z has been taken. So it's always minus four. So we have to do the same with the second word that's pleasure. Firstly, what should we do? The bottom middle two should interchange their place. So AS should become SA. Now this is a shortcut. If we just observe the options over here, in all of the options, none of them has middle two as SA except this one, option D. So Aren't we really required to solve this? We don't have to. We have already caught our answer. So that's the required answer. Moving on to the next question. Again, a pattern question where you have to find the missing number. The given triangles form a particular pattern. So we have to figure that out first. What's the pattern over here? 14, 13. And on the top, we have 9. The middle is 3. Generally, the middle is the result to the operations performed to the corners. So let's see what operations have been performed. So can we add 14 plus 13? That would give us 27. 27 divided by the number at top, 9. That gives us 3, yes. So let's see whether it falls over here also. 15 plus 20, 35 divided by number on top, 7. That's a 5. So over here, 12 plus 18 would be a 30 divided by number on top, 6. 5 is the required answer, option B. Next is a question from direction sense. Shikha walks five meters towards south and then she turns. Okay, let's follow this and draw the diagram. Shikha walks five meters. Shikha walks five meters to the south. Then she's turning to the east, which means towards the right and walking four meters. Again, from here, she's turning south and walking three meters. Then again, east and walking two meter. So this is it. Now, how far is she from the starting point? She was here. She is over here right now. A diagonal emerging up, a diagonal or a hypotenuse if we can see. So this is a scenario where we need to use the Pythagoras theorem for the hypotenuse, which is root over of height squared plus base squared. So height is how much? Five over here plus three over here. So together it's eight, five and three, eight. So eight square added to the base, which is four over here and two over here. So four plus two, six square. Eight square is a 64, six square is a 36. That's root over 100. 100 is a root to uh, square to 10. So 10 meter is the hypotenuse or the distance walked by Shikha. So that's the answer. Next question number eight. In a row, Tanya is 15th from the left. Okay, we have her position from the left. That's 15th. And 7th to the right of Amit. 7th towards the right of Amit. And where is Amit? 
Amit is ninth from the right. Amit is over here, ninth from the right. If Amit is ninth from the right, Tanya is seventh towards the right of him. So Tanya is over here. That means if we have to calculate position from right, Tanya is second, nine minus seven, that's two. So Tanya is second from right. So Tanya is 15th from left and second from right. So using the formula position from both the ends minus one. So 15 plus two, 17 minus one, 16. There are total 16 number of students in the entire row. Option D is the answer. There are three figures X, Y and Z of a sheet of paper. The paper is folded. X, Y shows the two consecutive folds of the sheet as has been done. And figure Z shows cut on the folded sheet. Choose the figure from the options that resembles the unfolded form. So see, first it has been folded into half, then it has been folded into quarter. And this is the cut made. So obviously when it's unfolded, the quarter would be unfolded first. So over here, this would come. Then again, half would come. Then this would be the pattern, which is there in option C. So this is the unfolded form of our paper. Going on to the 10th question, this is the figure matrix. So group the given figures into three classes on the basis of their identical properties. OK, so if we just start off with one, I can see one, five and seven, they form a particular pattern. Same figure three times one inside the other. Next, two can be paired. Two is a simple 2D figure, so it can be paired up with four and nine because all these three are 2D shapes. Whereas lastly, three, six and eight can be paired because they are again three figures. So these are the three different categories which we find in option C. So that's the answer. Moving on to the 11th question, Venn diagrams where the circle represents hardworking students. The rectangle represents punctual students. And the triangle represents the intelligent students. Now the question wants we, us to find out hardworking and punctual. That means circle plus rectangle, but not intelligent. So triangle should not overlap. Circle plus rectangle. The circle plus rectangle is only in this number, which is 13. So that's the answer. Again, a figure matrix which shows a pattern half shaded, half shaded, it comes Combining these two, full this portion shaded. Again, half shaded, half shaded, combining these two, the third one. So this is half, half, combining these two would be a full rectangle shaded. Option C is the answer. How many triangles are there in this given picture? If we have to find the triangles over here, let's take out the individual ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the whole big thing, 10. So far we have 10 triangles. So far we have 10 triangles. Moving on to combining two, two triangles, if we just have to check, this is 11, and this would be the 12th one. Again, we can combine these two, 13 and 14, and this two together would be a 15. We can also combine over here 16. This is 17. No need of checking more, although we have covered all of them, 17. Since 17 is not the option, more than 15 would be enhanced. Select the correct water image. In water image, anything flips upside down. So the mirror water image to this should be some a reverse L, a reverse L, which we find in option C. So that's the answer. Which of the following conditions satisfy the same conditions of placement of dots as in the given figure? This is a question from dot situation where you need to figure out or analyze the dots. The first dot is from the first dot is overlapping triangle and rectangle. The second dot is just in rectangle and the third dot is in rectangle plus circle. 
So we need these three situations, triangle plus rectangle. In option A, triangle and rectangle not overlapping, eliminated. Option B, yes, triangle and rectangle overlapping over here. Rectangle and circle overlapping over here. Only rectangle is also in here. All three conditions satisfies. In option D also, triangle and rectangle not overlapping, eliminated. Option C, circle and rectangle not overlapping, eliminated. So option B is our required answer. Moving on to the next question from here, the different section comes up. The first 15 were logical reasoning. Now we have mathematical reasoning. This is a question, what must question simple integers or whatever we want to say, an expression is given. Minus 9 multiplied to 7 plus minus 15 divided by minus 3 multiplied to 6 plus 9 into 3. Let's do the division part first. Minus 9 multiplied to 7 plus minus 15 divided by minus 3 would be a 5. Two negatives cancel to become a positive. Multiply to 6 plus 9 into 3. Now let's perform the multiplication. This would be minus 63 over here. 5 into 6 is a 30 plus 9 3 times is 27. So this is it. Addition would give us a total of 57. So minus 63 plus 57 is minus 6. Option C is the answer. Next, fractions 7, 2 by 3 minus bracket open 8 by 3 minus early brackets open 3, 1 by 8 minus normal brackets open 1 by 6 minus 1 by 8. This is our question. So let's convert them first into improper, improper fractions. This would be a 23 by 3 minus 8 third minus brackets open, 8 is a 24 plus 1, 25 by 8 minus, let's solve the bracket, 8 and 6, the LCM would be 24, so 6, 4 times, so 4 over here, and 8, 3 times, so 3 over here. Moving on to the next step, 23 by 3 minus 8 by 3 minus 25 by 8 minus 1 by 24 comes out of the curve, normal brackets. Next, we have 23 by 3 minus 8 by 3 minus what would come out of the bracket? 24 LCM, 8, 3 times, so 25, 3 times is 75. And over here, it's 24, so 1 is D. So 75 minus 1, 74 by 24 comes out of the bracket. 23 by 3 minus, let's solve the bracket that would give us a we need to figure out 8 by 3 minus 74 by 24. Again, 24 would be the LCM. So 3, 8 times is 24. So 8, 8 times is 64 minus 74. So when we solve this bracket, minus 10 by 24 comes out. Minus, minus becomes plus. So this is the final step that we have. Again, 24 being the LCM, 3, 8 times. So 23, 8 times we need to find out. 23, 8 times would give us 8, 3, 24. 184 plus 10, that's 194 by 24. We can simplify this 194 by 24. Both is divisible by 2. So this is 12 over here, and this is 9 times 18, 97. 97 by 12 is nothing but 8, 1 by 12. So that's the answer, option B. Moving on to our next question. In the given figure, L and M are two parallel lines and N is the transversal line that intersects the two lines. If X is equals to 65 degree, find the value of Y and Z. Okay, so firstly, if X is 65 degree, Y has to be 65 degree because they are vertically opposite. And if Y is 65 degree, W is also 65 degree because they form alternate pairs. So W and Y 65 degree is over here as well as in option Y, option C. Now, what's the value of Z? X and Z together form a straight angle. So if X is 65, Z has to be 180 minus 65. That's 115 degrees. So which is there in option B. So that's the answer. 